Does this cheap styrofoam cooler look like an air conditioner? Stick around. Okay, here's the plan. We take the fan, some duct tape, and PVC pipe, and we make this styrofoam cooler into an air conditioner. There really isn't any measuring involved either. We take the fan and draw a little circle on top of the styrofoam lid and the PVC vent and do the same. Now let's cut. As you can see we've cut out the piece for the vent. This is where the cold air will come out of the cooler and now we have to cut a piece for the fan. But think of this like cutting the top of a pumpkin and you're going to cut it on an angle so the fan won't fall into the hole completely. As you can see a little bit of basic duct tape will make the exhaust where the cold air comes out even more efficient. And the fan is resting on the open hole. Now we have to add the ice and get the cold air moving. Wake the kids and call the neighbors. There's your $20 air conditioner. We're going to turn it on next. I've got one of those high-tech digital meat thermometers that you use while you're barbecuing to show you how hot it is outside. Over 96 degrees today and we have assembled the $20 air conditioner right here on the patio and put about a quarter of the way full of ice. That's all we had. So let's see if we can take the almost 97 degrees turn on the air conditioner and change the temperature of the air that's coming out of the exhaust. Well the $20 air conditioner has been at it for about a minute to a minute and a half and it's 95 plus degrees outside but the air coming out of our $20 air conditioner is at about 70 to 71 degrees. A considerable drop from the temperature out here. It's not going to cool the outdoors but it could help in a hot room. Of course the ice chest does well when it's got a lot of ice inside but it also is a multi-purpose tool. As you can see here we've made good use of the original purpose of the ice chest. As we expected bringing the $20 air conditioner indoors makes it a lot more efficient. At this point the exhaust is kicking out cold air at about 57 degrees and it's working well. So there's the experiment, there's the final stage. Try it yourself and send us the results here at The Blaze.